welcome to another episode of Bright Reacts. This is Perrine, your host, and here with me today is Francie. Hello, everyone. So today we're going to react to Ken Watanabe's English interviews. All right, so for those who are not like very familiar with Ken, mm -hmm. although I would doubt that because he's quite a famous actor. actor. Yes, not yes. just in Japan, but also in Hollywood. So mm -hmm. Ken Watanabe is a Japanese actor popular for playing tragic hero roles. So. Mm. And apart from gaining prominence in the Japanese film industry, mm -hmm. he's also famous for his acting prowess in Hollywood. Yes. Okay, all right. So that's it for um, a brief introduction about Ken Watanabe. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready, Francie? Yes. Let's start. Okay. So this one was an interview. Okay, about the last samurai. Yes. Okay, let's start. Two thousand three. Mm -hmm. Yes, two thousand and three. At first, it's so difficult, and so dialogue is uh, was uh, uh, many practice and uh, many uh, practice of pronunciation, and I understand uh, I understood the mean meaning, and so so very comfortable. But conversation, so I want to a more deep feeling and uh, more deep stories and uh, I, I, I want to I want to uh, talk about uh, Ed and Tom and so it's so difficult and uh, it's a step by step and yes and uh, very sensitive scene. Mm, well I think he was quite understandable yeah, yes. for the most part, he was quite mm -hmm. understandable, and I mean, he also I noticed that he attempted to correct, correct himself. himself. Yes. yes, with the mean. Yes. To meaning. Yes, yes. that's right. So that, that means he's aware. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's a good point. Mm -hmm. And there are just a few grammatical mistakes and some pronunciation points that uh, yeah. I would like to talk about. Mm -hmm. So first is I want to more more deep, deep yeah feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this statement, there's a missing word. Like when mm -hmm. you say want to, it should be followed by like like another verb. Mm -hmm. Want Although, to. Yes, yes want plus. to like do something. Mm -hmm. yeah, but in this case, I want to more. So more, that's not a verb. So there should be something else. A verb else. before yes. an adjective to define Indeed. Uh, adverb and then adjective. Yes, and mm -hmm. then more deep. For the word deep, instead of like saying more, more deep, you can just add er to deep, yes. make it deeper. Deeper. Yes. That's right. And mm -hmm. as for his pronunciation, well, although he was understandable mm -hmm. for the most part, yes. he, there were some like pronunciation points. There were some, yeah, he, some words lapses. That he, yes. Mm -hmm. He mispronounced. So, for example, like the one that he said, like, uh, like very, it, sounded berry like the fruits mm -hmm. yes so he exchanged the v, v. sound for the b, b sound. sound yes that's right and also conversation yes exactly so it sounded like mm -hmm. conversation Com conversation yes yes so that's an m mm -hmm. sound and then a b sound b sound so it should be n to m and then v to b Yes, it mm -hmm. should be conversation. Yes. That's right. And if you want to make a clear V sound, mm -hmm. so put your upper front teeth yes. on top of your lower lip. Lower lip. Mm -hmm. And say... <sighs> you just need to release air. Yes. Yes. And, <sighs> yes, and produce sound. Yes. <laughs> because if mm -hmm. you don't, then it's going to be an F sound. Yes, F. And make sure you do not... Uh, Put your upper lip together with your lower lip. Immediately, that's gonna sound B, B instead of V. That's right. Yes. So, B, that's B sound. That's the B sound, mm -hmm. and V, that's the V sound. So yes. Very. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like sensitive yes. conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then aside from that, there's also this stories. Ah, yeah, with the R stories. Yes. Stories. Mm -hmm. So L versus mm -hmm. R. So it should have been stories. Yes, and also with the ver in the conver 
yes. say shun. Mm-hmm. It was there's no R. There's it's no just R. like shua. Mm-hmm. Yes, although that, although the dropping of the R in like you know R control mm-hmm. words with R controlled sounds, it's quite common in let's say. Among, it's quite common among British, British people, people mm-hmm. and maybe yes. some Australian people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but in, in American English, it's there is R. not. Yes, there's <laughs> R. It's an R sound. Mm-hmm. Yes. And okay, let's continue. Let's have, yes, the half part of this interview. Yes, and uh, very sensitive scene. I have to and uh, collect collect meaning and uh, collect act and uh, I, I used uh, translate and I uh, to understand and act yes what was your most difficult scene to film uh, Charlie Blossom yeah, so three days so shooting and the, and the, what, what, what's 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 why so start to the film and the three days and it started with the cherry blossoms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, it's a terrible schedule. <laughs> yeah, that part was also mm. quite understandable, but yeah. yeah, although there were some mispronunciations. Yes, yes. more on with the R. Yes, actually R quite and a lot. L and mm-hmm. also with very. Yes, should be very. Mm-hmm. Yes, and for the R and L sound, um, I heard him say collect. Collect. collect I think meaning. what he meant by that was correct meaning yes. and correct, correct meaning. acting act. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So again, he exchange he exchanged the R, R to L. Yes, for mm-hmm. an L sound. So for mm-hmm. the R sound. Yes. Which so, is actually quite common. Yeah. Common lapses. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's quite common. It's it's a mistake commonly made by our Japanese students. And mm-hmm. um, to give you some tip, how to produce this sound. Mm-hmm. So how do we produce this sound? Well, just make sure the tip of your tongue will not touch the upper palate because that's L, like la. La. Mm-hmm. Le. Mm-hmm. So what you gotta do is actually instead of touching your palate, curl the tip of your tongue, going inside, but not too much, of course. <laughs> okay, just a little. Mm-hmm. So like a little curl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then as much as possible, please remember do not make it touch the palate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, and release a uh, voice or vibration. Er. Er. Yes, compared er. to. Ooh, that's with the uh. palette and without the palette er. mm-hmm. but don't just curl it too much i have some students who really like yes. curl it like almost and backward to the like, throat uh, uh, yes <laughs> it, it's, sound, it makes uh, uh, it, it has an uh, r sound but, but really unclear yes mm-hmm. and it's it makes your uh cheek muscles also your jaw uh-huh. and also your tongue stiff and it's not something that we want because you cannot produce clear R sound for that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Make sure. <laughs> That's right. So correct instead so it should mm-hmm. be correct instead yes. of collect. Collect. And then cherry. Yeah, which is of, yeah. Cherry that, that was like chelly. chelly. <laughs> yes. And it should be terrible instead of not terrible. terrible. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And I think there's also like another word he said, like mm-hmm. da. Ah. The, da. Like so the, I think it should have mean, been da. Yes. Yes. Also, a little bit the same with R and L. So when it comes to D, you touch the tip of your tongue to your palate. That is D. However, TH doesn't. Same with the R and L. L touches the palate, R doesn't. D touches your palate, TH doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, we should actually remember that one. Yes. So for D, you need to touch the tip of your tongue to your palate. Da, dress, like, uh, like daring, doll. It touches. However, when it comes to th, no, the tip of your tongue is actually between your upper and lower lip, making it like this. Va. 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 Yes. That's right. And there's also like another word. Mm-hmm. 
pronunciation. Pronunciation. <laughs> yes. So pronunciation. Yes, it's actually it's, five syllables. Yes, five syllables. Mm-hmm. And what happened there is four. Yes. Instead of ca, yes. that was she. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it, he kind of like combined the c and the a sound. So and make the a, s to yes. sh. Yes. So mm-hmm. it should be pronunciation. C-A. Pronunciation mm-hmm. instead yes. of pronunciation. So we are using glide sound there. Y to connect C and A. Yes. C-A. Pronunciation. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, but yes. Aside from that, I think he was able to like mm-hmm. pronounce most of like the other sounds quite yes. well. Like yeah. the pop T. Mm-hmm. You know, the pop T is quite very difficult. clear. <laughs> yes, it was very clear. Although, you know, mm-hmm. this sound is a little difficult for like most of our students yes okay, like, because tea, like when you tell them mm-hmm. to like produce a t sound it's a, like dry t yes da, da, da. instead of t. Mm-hmm. That's right. so that's with and like without friction at all just like filipino t we have yes. dry t that's mm-hmm. right like, kita, like means us yes ta, not t like the you know, like american t sound so it's ta, quite ta. different with the dry T, which has no friction, and with American T, that has friction. Ta, 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 ta. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. Like the terrible. Yes, top. terrible. Mm-hmm. And then understand. Yeah. Yes. And That's very clear when he said yeah, understand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also when he, an- when he answered the last question, I think mm-hmm. he sounded like more confident there. More confident and also you can actually see that there is self-esteem that yes. he trusts himself and also really confident on what he's talking about like i can deliver this i yes. can say what i want to i can convey yes, yes comfortable with right. the question and also answering yes mm-hmm. okay so that was the first video yes mm-hmm. the last samurai yes the last samurai which was in 2003 Mm -hmm. and for our next video this one is the inception Mm -hmm. this is ken watanabe's interview and the movie was inception yes i think Mm -hmm. it was in 2010 oh let's see okay yes Yes, it was in 2010 Mm -hmm. the movie was in yes released in 2010 Mm -hmm. okay all right it's another action movie exactly Okay. So let's begin. Yes. Chris wants to uh, keep it as real as possible. And uh, he always supplies me on the set, you know, no gravity and earthquake and, uh, you know, car crash and uh, gun shooting or something. It's so many things. And so we felt right, uh, we felt real reaction on the set, you know, and this movie is so bigger scale, um, on a bigger scale, but uh, his style is same, you know. All right, so that was the first answer for the first question. Yes, mm-hmm. and so far it was still understandable despite yes. the lesser pauses actually yes i can see indeed Mm -hmm. and although there were some fillers yes from time to time but it's not really that disturbing yeah Mm -hmm. not disturbing like he was still able uh, sorry he was still able to express what he wanted to express Mm -hmm. actually he was able to you know story tell yes better than than the previous previous video Mm -hmm. yes he sounded like a bit more confident than mm-hmm. the previous one, yes. and um, also he he this the application of word connection was mm-hmm. there too. It was quite smooth, yes. although it wasn't present all of the time, but mm-hmm. like most of the time. Yes, and that's good. Mm-hmm. And as for his pronunciation, mm-hmm. um, it just yeah the, the same the same yes mm-hmm. l and just r. recurring lapses yes r and l also like. the th mm-hmm. the vb v versus the v. gravity yes like mm-hmm. supplies which is i think surprise surprise <laughs> yes and like when he was talking about gun shooting car car clash that's supposedly car crash car crash yes mm-hmm. and then gravity 
Yes, instead of gravity. gravity. Yes, and movie. Mo- yeah, movie. Mm, like, like the movie. the movie. The movie instead of the and then movie. movie. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then the scale. Yeah, biggest scale. scale. Mm-hmm. So. Instead of scale, it was actually pronounced as scal, which is short e instead yes. of long a. Yes, it should be scale instead mm-hmm. of scale. Scale. Yes, and yes. as for his grammar, he mm-hmm. said. He always surprises me instead of he always surprises me mm-hmm. because he is singular. Yes. So we should also use mm-hmm. a singular, a singular for verb. Surprises. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then we felt real. He also said we felt real, real, real reaction. reaction on the set. Mm-hmm. Yes. And reaction is a countable noun, so mm-hmm. he should add yes. an article. Uh, not uh, actually, yeah, a, a reaction, and also article for set the yes the set, on the, in the set, set. Mm-hmm, on the and set, and then mm-hmm. yeah, so a real reaction or real reactions if mm-hmm. plural. So yes, yes, and then mm-hmm. this movie is on a biggest scale. Mm-hmm. So when we use superlatives like biggest, we normally use. The, the yes to accompany the, the. Mm-hmm. yes so it's a bigger scale mm-hmm. yes and then I think he also said something like the same the same oh, oh the sorry style. his style is same mm-hmm. so it should yes. it should have been his style is it's the, the same, same. So yes it should be a the, the just like biggest same mm-hmm. yes yes okay let's continue all right let's go for the second answer. This movie is really completely uh, present time, and uh, no souls, f- and uh, and uh, uh, it's a beautiful suits and a businessman, and uh, it's really interesting for me. Yeah. Does he mean beautiful like business suits? I'm not really sure, but he did say suits, right? Yes. Yes. Like there's like businessman and. Oh, beautiful, beautiful suits. suits. I heard it suits, but I think what he meant by that it's suits, and then the businessman. So I kind of yes. like related business suit. Yeah, maybe he meant beautiful business suits. Yes, because there were beautiful suits mm-hmm. and then businessmen. Yes, but the instead of T, it was actually D sound instead of T. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yes. then there's an S. Yeah. So it's a beautiful suit. So mm-hmm. that should either be remove the article or, or add s. Yes. So mm-hmm. it's a beautiful suit, suit or a beautiful without suit. an s because of the article up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or just say beautiful suits mm-hmm. without yes. the article. Yes. If you like mean that. many. Yes, and yes. also swords. <laughs> I think that was swords. Yes, yeah, but there's just no R. Yes, no mm-hmm. R. So it should it should have been swords with an yes. R sound <laughs> instead of a W sound. Yes. Yes. Like, so swords. Yes, yeah, swords. Swords. Something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. And okay, let's continue. Yes, let's go. At first, uh, it's really business uh, relationship, but uh, uh, continued slowly. Uh, uh, something different kind of feeling they have, and uh, more close or some distance or some yeah. It's uh, it's finally they totally understand each other. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm. For well, his, definitely again yeah. the stories. Story. Mm-hmm. So yes. continue story. So it should have been story. story. Yes. And then instead of they have, it should T-H have been the, and the V. They have. Mm-hmm. Yes. And same as they totally. So yes. instead of they, it should mm-hmm. have been they. Yes. I observe that most of his voice th just like the they are all d sound yes mm-hmm. Indeed. Mm-hmm. but so far with the voiceless it's 
uh, it's okay. Yes. If it's the voiceless voice, his TH. Voice, his voiceless TH mm-hmm. is correct. Yes. That's but because I have a hard time with the voice TH yes. that needs you, vibration. It sounds like a D sound. So yeah. he needs to like mm-hmm. maybe work on it more. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. And, but even though his, even though he mispronounced quite like, a number of words he but was actually still, just the same sounds yeah, yeah just mm. the same sounds mm. he was still understandable yes right? mm, yes I, and that's I, and that's what and that's what matters of course yes. to convey what you really want to say exactly mm-hmm. okay, and that was the inception yes now let's move on to the third video mm-hmm. there he is thank you so much for being here with us and congratulations on the reviews. People are loving the show and I read somewhere you were called the heart and soul of this show. If you can, yes, tell me what this role, you've had so many, (laughs) but what this role has meant to you. Uh, Sorry, uh, I shaved the hair right now just for the last movie. But, uh, you know, it looks like a gang, but my role is a cop. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So yes, you play a detective for the Tokyo Police Department and you say your character isn't black or white. He's somewhere in the middle. He's gray. Tell us about him. Yeah, JJ Rogers uh, wrote uh, my character. It's really mysterious. And then, uh, you know, approach to the gang is a really dark side. And then uh, it's my role is uh, really gray. And then, uh, uh, it's the middle of the story, and then a big upset of this, uh, my role is a uh, double face. It's so interesting character. And Ken, it, it's Dr. All right. That was actually the first and the second one. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think for this one, I noticed that his his application of word connection is much smoother. Yes. Yes. And noticeable, and- actually, during the interview. Yes, mm-hmm. and although there were pauses, there were still pauses, mm-hmm. but like they're much, they're much fewer mm-hmm. and, and shorter. Yes, and it sounded like his pauses sounded like more natural than than the than before. Like you videos. would really yes, oh, uh, notice it that Ken was thinking yes. during the interview. Mm-hmm. Yes, and as for pronunciation, just recurring yeah. lapses. Yes, the movie again and the. Uh, when when he's talking about shaving his yes. hair instead of shave it was shed yes mm-hmm. but his r i think improved a lot like yeah. i no longer heard him like exchange the and r changing for an the l. r and yes, l it sounds mm-hmm. like r mm-hmm. there is already yes. r mm-hmm. so yeah it's... but there's this i think one word about uh, an r word which is he dropped the R, which is ah, the dark. Uh-huh. Yes. But not anymore switching. Yes, mm-hmm. no more switching. Yes. yes and still, there's and still TH, like the, 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 like that. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. And then movie. Yes, movie is still yes. movie. Movie, yes. In here. Mm-hmm. And as for his grammar, mm-hmm. um, he said it's for last movie. Yes, it's for it the yeah, last it should have movie. been. It's for mm-hmm. the last movie. Yes. Yes. So yeah, the there article. Should be, the... Yes, mm-hmm. an article or like a determiner before mm-hmm. the movie. And then he also said something like, it's it looks yeah, like a voice. gas. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I think it his, looks... his T. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes like, I observe like, like when yeah. the word ends with a T sound, there it is an unnecessary sound, which is as like butts. Uh, yes, it's, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, as for I this think it's one, tendency? yeah, but like I'm not sure if like he he's just popping his teeth too much or mm-hmm. he he actually me he actually meant it is it but, is but looks <laughs> yes I'm not Maybe. really sure because mm-hmm. yeah there is this like specific regional accent in the mm-hmm. UK where oh. they pop the tea like. With too it. much so like it, the for, fiction is already yes, creating s sound yes like mm. what, for example when they say like for um for it mm-hmm, for so it like for it sounds <laughs> like that like i, I, I first see. heard this one mm-hmm. in the movie nanny mcphee oh yes. okay so they they actually like, pop the t like 
I don't know, way too much, like, mm-hmm. like that. I like so, that movie. I'm not really. It's quite a funny movie. <laughs> they're learning. Not so really sure nice if it's there. it mm-hmm. uh, like that or like yeah. it is the kind. Maybe. Of, yes, the contraction mm-hmm. of it is. But uh, when the, when it comes to my experiences, it's actually very common for my students when they have a necessary s sound after d, mm. mm-hmm. and also a necessary sound schwa after yeah. d. Yes, mm-hmm. like and uh, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah. like but uh, it's different, like, <laughs> like like a filler word. Yeah, like a actually. filler. Yes. Mm-hmm. And let's continue. Yes, let's have the third. And Ken, it, it's Dr. Jen. You are obviously a massive star in Japan. Everyone knows your name. But you say that when you're not working, you like to just kind of live a quiet and boring life. How is that even possible with your celebrity there? I, I live in the mountain house right now. And then uh, uh, two hours driving from Tokyo and they're really quiet. And then uh, it's feel like a boring day li- daytime and then a uh, daily life. And then... Uh, and then next, and uh, uh, it's exported to the project, and uh, I can go there. Well, congratulations on the show, and congratulations on continuing. I'm kind of confused. Exported? Yes, exported. it did sound like exported, but at the same time, exploded. I'm not sure because he's... I'm confused. <laughs> not sure because his like, R or project. maybe L sound was mm-hmm. quite weak. Like yeah. it, it's it's it, it's unclear. Yeah. Mm-mm. So not we're not sure if it's exported, and it's but but it seems like it's project? exported, exported, exported to the project. To yes, the project. And mm-hmm. I think what he means by that is like maybe. going to that place for the project. Maybe but I don't actually quite understand what that exported, exploded, or yes. what that word may be. Yes, mm-hmm. and also he said. Live. I live uh, so in a mountain. Been, yes, mm-hmm. I live. V B V sound mm-hmm. and also driving. Driving. Should have been driving. Driving. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And there, I can D-H. go there instead Should've, of. It was D. Yes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. instead there. of I can go there, mm-hmm. it sounded like I can go there. Mm-hmm. there. Even the then and yes, you know, after and saying then, something and, and then, then uh, and then sounded uh, like and then a mm-hmm. D sound instead yes, of Yes, with a schwa D-H sound after sound. N. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. So far, so yeah. few, actually, you know, as you like, get to expose yourself. In the language. Yeah, with the language. You, you make fewer and fewer mistakes. Yes. And if we're going to compare, if we compare his interview back in 2003 yes mm-hmm. like the last samurai one yeah the last samurai then this inception one. and then to 2022 tokyo vice, tokyo vice. you can see that mm-hmm. this improvement with the rnl you can actually yes, see it's that quite evident mm-hmm. and he he has fewer, fewer pauses, fillers yes fewer, fewer pauses fillers. and mm-hmm. he talks a bit faster and yeah yes <laughs> compared to yes, 2003 and he had mm-hmm much fewer hesitations exactly like, if you look at this video mm-hmm. he's way more confident yes way more mm-hmm. confident like in mm-hmm. the 2003 videos that yes. we watched earlier mm-hmm. he hesitated like a lot yeah compared you to you can actually one. see that but it's totally fine it's common yes, when you're still common. learning the language and after like yes. a decade using the language so you really get the grasp of it yes. yeah but a command with english Mm-hmm. Yes, and it's also common to like you know pause a lot and hesitate if, yeah. if you're being asked questions mm-hmm. that which you need to think. <laughs> you need to think Remember like, situations. Yes, mm-hmm. questions that you know you've never like maybe you didn't you've never think been of? asked before. Yeah, you know? mm-hmm. so you have to like really think of an answer for of that course. one. Yes, mm-hmm. it's it's quite common. So, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, it's really really it's fine if you it's have fine. a your own thinking time, but. If you're going to compare his thinking time, like back in 2003 Three. to 2022, wow, you can actually see like, yes. it's like, he's no longer thinking anymore, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... No thinking time. It doesn't take him so long, like, uh, compared to the previous. Yes, mm-hmm. and 
it, question, it, answer, exactly. question, answer. Yes, just, <laughs> there are fillers, but mm-hmm. like you know, they're not, they're not a lot. Wow. And as even you, natives do yes, that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and as you can see in the in the two thousand three video, mm-hmm. he still had a translator there, right? Yeah. But in the Moment. two, mm-hmm. like in the Inception video mm-hmm. and in this one, mm-hmm. there, none. Yes. Yeah, uh, like I can take it. I can answer. Like you, I think the level of well, confidence, the skill, the knowledge yes. is there. Yes, you know. So mm-hmm. you can say that he really like improved a lot. Yes, from with translator to no translator. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And the way he spoke, it, yeah. like although again, with although emotions. he mispronounced some words, mm-hmm. but like he still sounded natural. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, like he was like more comfortable in doing this yes, interview than the mm-hmm. the two thousand three yeah. one. And speaking of this one is a live interview. Exactly, <laughs> it's a live interview yes. live on TV. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he carried himself pretty well. Yes, I would agree, and he sounds cool. Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like he, it's he like a day-to-day faster. routine that you do that people are interviewing you. Yes, mm-hmm. like, like no B. <laughs> indeed, like he sounded like mm-hmm. really. He sounded like he was, you know, really used to being interviewed. Yes. So, yeah. mm-hmm. so kudos to Ken Watanabe. Mm, true. Um, okay, so that was the last video. Mm-hmm. Okay, and yes, yeah, so just like what we. Have been talking about just that yeah. this improvement mm-hmm. was like really evident. True. Okay. Well, that's it yeah. for today's video. Thank you so much for watching Bright Reacts, and if you enjoyed watching this video, yes. please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Okay. To connect with us on social media, please click on any of the links mm-hmm. in the description box below. below. All right. Again, thank you for watching, and see you on our next episode. Bye-bye. See ya.